Majestic Unicorns. So today I will be doing this Sylveon inspired look from my Pokemon series. It was highly requested and don't worry I will do all the evolutions so they will be up after this. So if you want to know how I got this look just stay tuned. So I am starting off I've already done my brows with a pink eyeliner and set it with some eyeshadow. Now I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm going to be applying that all over my lid up to my crease and also underneath as well. We really want the colors to last all day and to pop. Now taking a white concealer, this is um, from Clean Colors or any white base that you may have, I'm just going to apply it on my lid so that the colors will pop and they can look a little bit more pastel. Now taking the single eyeshadow from Wet n Wild in Sugar and it's kind of a shimmery satin kind of eyeshadow and I'm going to be taking that on a pretty big fluffy brush and adding that on the inner part of my lid and also underneath my brow for a highlight. We want our eyes to be really big and open so I am doing this to achieve the look of bigger more doll like eyes. And going into the Urban Decay Electric Palette, I will be using the color Savage, which is a really bright hot pink. And to kind of diffuse the colors, I'm going to use an angled fluffy brush, so that way the colors aren't as bright and pigmented. And I'm going to lightly add the pink on and blend it in with that white. Now the electric palette is quite pigmented so I'm using a super light hand and blending as much as possible to give that light pastel pink color. If you want a more bright look use a denser brush to get that bright bright color. Um, but since I am going for a Sylveon inspired look I want something really light and pastel. And I'm just putting that on the center third of my lid, then taking another kind of angled fluffy brush. And going back into that palette, I will be using Gonzo, which is a lighter bright blue. And I'm going to be using the same method that I used before and just lightly pack on the color and blend it as seamlessly as I can with the pink. Now these colors are a little bit harder to work with because some of them they're matte and they're just really really bright. Um, so it takes a little bit of time to kind of blend everything together. So take your time, work you know in circular motions and blend the colors together for that seamless look. And I'm going to be keeping everything pretty rounded because, like I had said before, I want to keep a doll-like eye and keep it very rounded and Sylveon inspired. And I'm just using my finger to kind of blend the top just a little bit. Now for the lower lash line, I'm using a really, really thin brush. And I'm going to be going back into the electric palette. And I'm going to be using a bit of Gonzo, Chaos, and Urban. 
and I'm going to be drawing underneath my like eye bag and creating a wider eye. I don't want it too wide. I just want just a little bit. So I'm following the natural curve of my eye fat and um, going all the way in and that'll help create that um, Aegyo Sal inspired look and then I'm taking the Urban by itself and just using that to kind of define it and deepen it a bit. Taking a white eyeliner, I'm using my liner from Jane Cosmetics and I'm just applying it on my lower lash line and waterline just to give that bigger eye effect. And then on top of that to set it so it doesn't crease or go anywhere, I'm using the Wet n Wild eyeshadow again in sugar and I will be setting that underneath. Um, I would definitely suggest setting it with something, some sort of powder so that way it doesn't budge and it doesn't move and it also intensifies the color of the liner. So now I'm going to be adding a liner, which I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Liner. Now taking the BH Cosmetics Liner, I'm just going to be drawing a small wing. And I want to keep the doll-like effect, so I'm just going straight down to give that more droopy doll-like eye. And I'm not going very far with it just a little bit and then using Urban Decay Perversion Mascara which I am so in love with oh my god this thing is amazing and I'm just coating my top lashes you can use false lashes if you want for a more dramatic look but I'm just sticking with my natural lashes um, I'm not adding anything on my lower lashes just because it'll kind of mess up what we created now for cheeks, I'm going to use a eyeshadow from Corpse Cosmetics called Yui, and it is a pinky purple duochrome shadow. It's so pretty, and it has lots of beautiful shimmer in it, and I'm using a kind of foundation brush, I guess, and I will be kind of tapping off the excess on the back of my hand, but I will be focusing most of the blush on the apples of my cheek and across my nose for that cute kind of kawaii inspired look. I was really inspired by Fairy K and it just it's so cute and I really love how it came out. So I'm keeping it on the very tops of my cheeks and across my nose as well for that kind of sun kissed look. And I'm sorry that the video is really bright and blown out. I was trying something new. So I apologize. The next videos will be better. And then I'm taking the Sirens Glow from Corpse Cosmetics in Argo. And I'm just going to be applying that on the very, very tops of my cheeks. And the high points of my face. This is a really pretty shimmery highlight with a pinky orange tone. So I thought it would go perfectly with this look. And I'm going down the center of my nose and my chin and my non-existent Cupid's bow. <laughs> and now for lips, I'm going to do a ombre lip. So using this lip pencil, I do not know how to pronounce that word, um, but it's just a nude color that's pretty close to my like natural skin tone and I'm just going to apply that on my lips and then with a Urban Decay lip gloss this is a deep pinky color I will be adding that on the very center of my lips and 
blending that out and it'll give you that doll like really cute gradient lip and it's super cute and I thought it would go perfect with this look and that is the finished look I really hope you guys enjoyed I added some little buns on my head and a super cute bow from creepy kitty which I will have the link below and I love it so much so I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for more Pokemon inspired looks don't forget to hit subscribe and like and hit the little bell below so that you can be notified of all my uploads so thank you guys so much for watching I love you all and I will see you all in my next video bye